Hi everybody. I'm fairly new to the Super Metroid community, not to the game at, by any means, but to speedrunning and taking part in the community. Right now seems to have a large influx of new runners as well. There's a lot of people learning and getting working on their times just like I am. Within the past month I've met a lot of them. And I watch a lot of other runners now too, and with BT I've noticed something that's not often talked about. And so I, I've been sharing some images to show, show it, but a lot of people have questions, maybe I don't explain it well. Uh, and they are just still pictures, so I thought I'll do a video to help uh, elaborate and hopefully make it a lot more clear what I'm talking about. But the generally accepted strat when fighting BT is to wait for it to wake up and you stay over in this position has a little ball and when he wakes up if you time it just right to make him jump back and then start you know fighting. But in that case right there I got lucky and got my timing right on rolling into rolling into him as a ball and made him jump back but you don't have to do it that way there's two places that are safe from bt's attack one when he's already in the corner which is something about right something about right here with samus's back lined up with the, those rivets but yeah, let me do this but as you saw, if I stood there when he wakes up, he starts hitting me. But if you stand in this position, if you look where I have Samus's arm cannon aimed up, those rivets right there, he can't hit it. And then you move to the next position, and he can't hit you here either as long as you don't jump during his attack. So I'm going to show those spots again, even though my BT fight was not good at all, just there, but it really helps knowing these two locations. Let's see if I can pause it in the right time here. There we go. Let's see, that is spot number one. When he wakes up, he's going to stand there and try to claw at you as long as you're in this position. And the way I can see that, hopefully I can draw some stuff here on the video at the end, but the, the, the tip of Samus' arm cannon is vertically aligned with these rivets that are uh, vertical above it. And then once BT jumps back like he just did, you move to this one, where Samus' back is in line with Oh, I was not in the right spot. There we go. This spot, right here. Where Samus's back is slightly covering those rivets, slightly further back. And with sitting here, BT can't, can't hit me. 